Hi family, I'm Dr. Brenda Wobberiosti. I'm a licensed daycare provider, a published author of three children's books, an advocate, a consultant, a veteran's wife, and a mother. If you need help setting up your daycare service or just looking for great ideas to incorporate a play-based learning approach as well as learn about research-based solutions to issues impacting education, this is the channel for you. Subscribe, share, like thank you so we just um celebrated national school choice week and i wanted to do a little expose on why i celebrate it and just do a little bit touch up on the website so when you go on the website the national school choice website and i'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out all by yourself you see all these different tabs for parents, for educators, for organizations, for states, and then there's news. And on each of these major tabs, there are also minor tabs. So there's um, big primary tabs and then there are secondary tabs. And even when you click on these minor tabs, they also take you to different links. And um, let's 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 see how the parent one looks like. So we we click on parents. There's a video here. I do not want to play it. It's on YouTube here. Um, it says, "What is school choice? School choice is the process of allowing every family to choose the K-12 educational options that best fit their children. Every child is unique, and all children learn differently." Some children might succeed at neighborhood public school, while others might fit in better at the charter magnet, online, private, or home learning environment. That is why school choice is so important. These options include all forms of education from traditional public schools to public charter schools, public magnet schools, or private schools. You know, and and um, all kinds of schools. Homeschooling is part of part of it too, and online academia. So, um, although school choice week celebration is geared towards K twelve education, and I am a daycare provider. I'm not in K twelve yet. I'm in preschool actually, but. I am an advocate of school choice. I believe that every parent has the right to make the choice of where their children go to school, regardless of economic status, regardless of political status, regardless of any kind of orientations. They are supposed to be able to choose and pick where their children go to school. And the one way I support school choice in my service, in my daycare service, is that like every daycare, if you want to pull your child out, you have to give two weeks notice to the provider. If you do not do that, then you're going to owe them two weeks. Now, I don't do that. Parents take their children out. If they feel that my service is not, and that's very rare, I've hardly had parents do that. But there are times parents just don't like your service. They have something else they um, want to do. They have a different place they want to take their children to. Um, I, I do not hold them back. They don't have to pay me any two weeks in lieu of um, tuition. They can just pull out whenever. And I tell them that at the beginning. And even for me as well, if, I don't, if I'm not having uh, a nice relationship with the child or with the parent it's not working out for me i can pull out anytime so it goes both ways you as a parent can pull your child out whenever you like and me as a provider can um, tell you okay this is not working out please find something else for your child so this that's the way i support school choice at my daycare and i, I wish other daycare centers can do that because giving them that limitation of the two weeks tuition it 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 kind of impedes them you know it keeps them i mean why would you want to keep a child for two weeks when you really don't want to keep the child at all you know and um why will a parent leave their child at your service for two weeks when they just want to be gone today you know just think of that so i know that it's also about money and the logistics of it all but I just don't want to deal with all of that. So 
that's how I support school choice at my daycare service. So I'm still looking at the um, still looking at the contents of the website, and it says don't just wonder about public school choice. Learn about it. Check out our school choice week free guide to choosing traditional public schools inside or outside of your district. Um, if open enrollment is available to you, you can take advantage of it by visiting multiple schools and discovering which is the best school of choice for your family. You can use our free schools near me too to find various public schools to consider. After all, public schools um, common questions about traditional public schools. How do parents feel about public school open enrollment and they have all kinds of questions here and they have answers and you still see oh look at that you see you see these kids with um, really bright scarves and i did show you uh, i did do a video about what i got in my free packet and those scarves they are i don't know it they are so unique and eye-catching i just love them and we use them for all kinds of activities and uh, it's amazing just um advocating for something that we believe in it's just just awesome so public schools of choice in your state every state has traditional public schools but does your state offer open enrollment which allows you to choose schools outside your neighborhood zone or district now this is a major major thing in america if you live in a certain zip code there, there are just a bunch of restrictions about what school you can go to just because of your zip code you know so if you live in a certain zip code you cannot go to uh, you cannot send your children to other other um, zip codes that are not designated to where you live so it can be a headache because let me give you an example parents may live in one zip code and work in another you know also parents may live in one zip code because that's all they can afford that's the kind of accommodation or housing they can afford but they want their children to go to school in a different zip code where the neighborhoods are better, where the outcomes are better, the academic outcomes are better, graduation rates and all the good stuff are better, you know. Why, why can't they do that? Why all the restrictions? Why can't they just do that for their child? Because if education is for the child, why is it that the, the um, parents, why if education is really, really for the child, and we know that children are unique and different, in their own way why can't a parent just decide uh, this is the school I want for my child I don't live around there but I, that's what I want my I want for my child because I've, I've uh, researched the outcomes of that school and I really uh, like the way they are and I want to I want to take my child there you know why, why can't they just make that decision and then they have to focus on this op open enrollment situation and other restrictions it's it's, uh, it can be a headache but school choice the national school choice weak people they have made this a little less um, cumbersome or a little less complicated for parents and educators and they've put up the, oh my, when I was looking at this website and I'm, I'm telling you that I check it like at least once a year when I looked at it last year I did not find this much information that I find that I found this year. So this that means that they are growing. That means that and and actually they are growing because more schools are getting aware, more organizations are getting involved, you know. People are now realizing, "Hey, this is this is something what what wow. This is something worth my time, you know." So it's an amazing celebration and 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 i love it and i see growth in it and i see that the information is more expanded um they had okay last year when i looked there was spanish so there's there's a spanish area or a tab where everything is all spanish so if you if you're a spanish-speaking person and english is not your thing you can you still can get some information here 
and they have these little activity packets, scavenger hunts, uh, printable activity pack, we love our school, which some of which also come with the box that I received, the free box. And let me tell you, you don't have to be uh, a, a huge center or an established uh, school to participate in School Choice Week. They want the more participation they get, the more word gets out there that this is important. This is an advocacy that's important. We're not playing. We're working on this for parents and children. So you could you could go to the website. You can apply to participate, and they'll send you the uh, supplies that I have showed you uh, in my previous video. This is probably going to be the last video I will show on um, on this topic, but we had a blast celebrating it. And I did post some videos on my Facebook page, Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters, and on um, and on TikTok. So you can see how we celebrated. We did walks. I'm just showing you um, different aspects of the uh, website, you know. So it's schoolchoiceweek.com and it's uh, HTTP. So it's, it's an amazing, amazing advocacy to participate in. So then I'm looking at the organization section and then I see activity ideas, which I just um, showed you on the other side, you know, where they had scavenger hunts and all kinds of stuff. Uh, look, they say, and also look, look what they're saying. Whether you present an education organization, a local nonprofit, a local chamber of com commerce, whatever you are, this is important and if you they, they are telling you if you need help if you need ideas celebrating national school choice week here we are we have a bunch of those ideas for you you know so they have all these activity ideas um hold an awards breakfast or lunch to recognize a local uh, to recognize local educational leaders just a bunch of stuff that you can do neighborhood um we we as a preschool daycare service we just we did neighborhood walks we had our scarves on and we gave us some of these um events promotional materials to our neighbors and uh, i talked to the parents about the uh, celebration you know so we are helping to raise awareness as well and um and maybe they, maybe some people have seen this on facebook or on uh, social media and they're like school choice what's, what's that all, all about you know but if they also experience it at their child's school or their children's school then this it start to make sense to them and then they start to realize this is this is a cause i have to follow you know, maybe I want to homeschool my children. Maybe I don't want my children to go to public school or private school or any school at all. I just want to homeschool them. Why can't I just do that? You know, so why why all the restrictions in um in making that choice? So that's what school choice advocacy is all about. Okay, so I'm just still looking at the um. The website just showing you different parts of it, different aspects. Uh, choosing a school, uh, and they still have um, they have that YouTube video on there. So the the various kinds of schools you can pick, you, you click on them, and they'll show they'll tell you more information about it. If you want to search by state, it's right there. I was actually interested in the survey because. Uh, education is the gateway to all things survey of hispanic parents on education and this was in 2022 a recent survey of hispanic families provides an important window into the education of their children this was this was very very fascinating to me um the statistics according to our survey 59 percent of hispanic and latino parents considered finding a new or different school for at least one of the children in their household within the past 12 months comparatively a january 2022 nscaf survey included the same question and 52 percent of all parents including hispanic and non-hispanic respondents had been or were considering new schools 
Look at that. 56% of Hispanic and Latino parents were motivated to search for new schools because of a desire for higher quality education. 49 parents listed concerns over school safety and bullying as a motivation, and 49% were motivated by the effect of the pandemic on their children's education. See that? You see that? So, in, in the pandemic situation too, that, that did something to schools, that did something to um, children, you know, and how they learn and where they learn, and um, all kinds of changes in the school environment. I, I'm going to um, do a video on the survey they just did in, in, um, in Virginia and you will see what the pandemic did to schools. After the pandemic, I mean, it's not, schools have not been the same again. So uh, teachers are quitting, uh, schools cannot fill those spots for all kinds of reasons. Here in, in where I live, they keep advertising for school bus drivers. They can't even find people to drive the school buses. So the school is a, is, is a mess, um, unfortunately. And um, it needs a, a huge, I mean, some schools, not all, some schools, some public schools, they need a huge overhaul um, in, in various aspects of the school so that everything will eventually focus on the child you know too much distractions currently so education is for the child let's focus on the child and and let's just um, teach the child and help the child succeed so 34 percent said they did or might choose a traditional public school in another school district 35 percent expressed an interest in homeschooling that's a major 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 number you know they want to homeschool 21% would consider magnet schools. Look at all of these um, statistics. Despite strong interest in and demand for schools, over the past three decades, states have significantly expanded K-12 school choice options for families. In just the past two years, more than half of U.S. states have taken steps to enhance you know, their various schools. And more than a third of school searches, 39% preferred more Spanish language information about school choice. No wonder, no wonder they have a section here, you know. When asked to describe in one sentence why education is important to your family, Hispanic families spoke up on education's connection to opportunity. Look at that. Family, 84%. Hard work, 52%. Opportunity, 42%. And look at that. Families, oh my goodness, I love the Hispanic population. Family is at the top of their list. And that's important. That speaks volumes of what, they, um, of what their expectation for education is. It speaks volumes, you know. So here they have, uh, there's so much here. A lot of stat statistics. You know, I, I always came through these uh, sites when we visit. I cannot um, read everything verbatim, word for word, page by page, it, because I'll be here for days, you know, and it'll be too much information anyway. So I think that you should go to the website if you're Spanish speaking, if you're English speaking, uh, if you're English and Spanish speaking, whatever. It, Go, go on the website and just read and see the um, amazing amount of info that is there for parents and educators and communities. And uh, it gives you specifics of your state. Of um, it, it tells you uh, what options are available to you. You know, it just it's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing thing. And I will keep doing this. Um, I think I've done it for four years now. I have to check that to be sure, and I'll keep doing it because it's something I truly believe in. It, um, school choice is something that is absolutely important, absolutely important. So they also have the donation page where you can donate. And when I did my uh, video on and showed you all the free stuff I got, it was free. It was free. 
So, and I know that they get all these things from the free do from the donations they get. You know, that's how we get to get free supplies and comfortably and conveniently celebrate school choice. You know, so if you're looking for a good cause to donate to, and this is it. This is it. it this. These school choice problems or issues, they affect every one of us. They affect us, our children, our cousins, our nieces. I mean, we all have uh, school age children in our families, one way or the other. So this is a cause we need to focus on and we need to work on and advocate on together. Okay? All right. So don't forget, go to um, schoolchoice.com and check out this um, information. Um, check out all the various tabs. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And there's more to come. I love you all. Don't forget, prayers get answered. Miracles still happen. And every single thing is possible. I love you. Bye.